People are criticizing that Bitcoin needs a second layer to become useful for smaller payments. What do you think of that? Um, the bottom line is this. Uh, there are fundamental design trade-offs that exist in blockchains. You can pretend to ignore these fundamental design trade-offs, or you can pretend that you've solved them in some way. But the bottom line is that in order to accommodate many, 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 many small payments, you have to decide who's going to validate those transactions. The Bitcoin answer is everybody validates every transaction in order to maintain decentralization, security, robustness, censorship resistance, neutrality, and openness in the network. If you give up that property, um, then a lot of the other properties kind of poof, evaporate. So uh, the solution of Lightning Network and using a second layer is to ensure that we can maintain these fundamental properties that arise from decentralization. If you process a lot of blocks, a lot of transactions very, very fast on your blockchain, there is a trade-off. Either not everyone is validating or the validation is not of equivalent robustness as the Bitcoin network. And of course, it's very easy to say, oh, look, we can do transactions in a second and we can do thousands of transactions per second as long as your blockchain isn't actually doing thousands of transactions per second. But if you are actually getting to the point where you're doing thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of transactions per day, um, then that burden creates a cost to the validators. And that cost is in the form of bandwidth, which is the most expensive and difficult to get, as well as disk space and CPU and all of the other computing capabilities. If that cost, given no compensation, um, is shared by all of the validators on the network, and you want everyone to be a validator on the network, this is going to very quickly lead to centralization. People who cannot afford to run big beefy nodes are going to stop validating transactions, and your network is going to get centralized. The more centralized it is, the easier it is to shut down, censor, disrupt, etc. So this is the fundamental trade-off. So those who criticize Bitcoin need to have a second layer are playing mostly in the small leagues and um, as a result are not yet dealing with scaling problems. In order to have scaling problems, you first have to have scale. It's very easy to not have scaling problems at small scale. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. All my work is shared for free, so if you want to support it, join me on Patreon.